I ran to the dart because I needed a hiding place. No matter what I did to be good, I kept messing it all up. Like I had a parasite. A monster inside of me that was determined to take every beautiful thing and make it ugly. If anyone ever found out I was afraid, they'd be so disappointed or angry. Before they could run away from me, I ran away from them. I was the master of my own life. I discovered things that would give me bursts of happiness, but everything faded. I hunted for anything that might be sustainable. It was all I really wanted, something deeper, to feel loved instead of broken. In the dark, I felt comfortable, but never whole. There had to be a reason I was created, a bigger picture, an origin that made the universe and everything in it, including me. I suspected that my breath came from somewhere, something, someone, that my life wasn't just a random occurrence based on an accidental blast. I watched the sun set and rise. I saw trees grow tall from tiny seeds. There were cycles in the earth I could explain, and some that were a total mystery. All of this was evidence of a creator, an all-knowing but distant God, watching from somewhere outside the darkness. A God who knew my shame and was probably just as disappointed as everyone else. What I never saw coming was how much this God loved me. What he would give to be closer to me, closer to you. He knew we needed help, so he invaded the world with light. God sent his son Jesus to earth with a simple mission, show them how much I love them. When Jesus arrived, he had every right to be judgmental. He was the son of God. He could have saw everything we've done with this world, a world his father created and reacted with punishment or disgust. Instead, he demonstrated God's love. He showed us God's love was radical, teaching messages that challenged the expectations of the rules we had written. He showed us God's love, saw everything we did in the darkness, and yet he still ran straight for us. He showed us God's love was overwhelming, unshakable, unlike anything we had ever known. Jesus knew the cost of our sin was death, and only he could pay the price, so he paid it. He sacrificed himself to give me new life with God. He died on a cross for me so that I could know exactly how much God loves me. He rose from the grave three days later, destroying death and proving we could trust everything he said when he was with us. Nothing in the dark offers that kind of love. Nothing in the dark invites me to stay except for things that fade. From outside in the light, I have a whole and lasting life. I'm invited to be loved by the God who spent all of history making move after move to get closer to me. The light reveals God is persistent, gracious, love everlasting. All that is required from us is a response. All that we give up is our life in the dark. We don't have to hide anymore.